Good morning, YouTube. What is happening today? We're talking drone hyperlapses. Let's go. <laughs> So as I said in the intro, we're talking drone hyperlapses today. Um, what is a hyperlapse? Well, it's like a time lapse. And if you don't know what a time lapse is, follow or look at whichever it is up here <coughs> on screen, a time lapse video that I did for the R5. Um, basically, a, time, a hyperlapse is a time lapse, but the camera that you're using is moving. Um, and with the drone hyperlapse, Clearly, the drone camera is moving. Um, pretty good doing drone hyperlapses because you can cover a vast amount of ground um, over rough terrain and not, not walk, basically. And also you just get a different perspective. Um, hyperlapses, I think, are quality. Um, they're a good way of either like passing time, good way of passing time uh, in a video if you're doing like day to night, night to day, or just a standalone video for Instagram Reels. Um, I've done a couple of hyperlapses before. It worked out all right, but uh, never, never top notch, which seems to be uh, the story of my creativity recently. So I was gonna go out yesterday morning, um, but had a horrendous sleep, not feeling very well, as you can hear at the moment. Um, decided to not go out yesterday, and then noticed there's a quality sunrise. <clears throat> and then we're due fog this morning but pretty rubbish. Um, it's not really frosty. It's frosty from yesterday, but it's not like really nice frost like it was a couple of days ago. Uh, sunrise is pretty much non-existent. Um, and I'm updating my drone at the moment and it's freezing. So, you know, positive mental attitude, but everything's going against me today. So we're just gonna crack straight on and uh, I'll basically go through the settings I'm not going to explain how to do uh, time lapses and stuff like that. Um, as I said, look in the previous video of the theory behind time lapses and frame rates and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to be going through how you do it with my particular Mavic, uh, my particular drone, which is a Mavic Air 2S DJI. Um, yeah, we'll just go through it. Um, it's typical that you can't actually see anything at all because I was going to um, get my long lens out as well and do a time lapse um, of the Rekin, which is over there that you can't even see. Um, but hey ho, such is life. Anyway, let's get on with it. So one of the things that's worthwhile doing um, before you start a hyperlapse is just literally wrecking in the area and um, finding any suitable um, suitable area that you think a hyperlapse might may work. Um, as you can see here, it is crazy foggy. Um, and one of the things that uh, you need to bear in mind with a hyperlapse is having movement in the scene um, because the drone would be moving nice and slow um, and you'd like movement within the scene to emphasize the uh, the movement of the hyperlapse otherwise it just doesn't really work which you'll find out today because there's no movement I was hoping that um, that the fog would clear and break with the hyperlapse uh, with the sunrise sorry like it did um, a couple of weeks ago, I came back here a couple of weeks ago and um, looked, looked mega, uh, I think anyway. Um, and did a, did a few other clips and stuff. But anyway, points to note is um, have a recce first of the area. <clears throat> um, because with a hyperlapse, your drone is gonna use quite a lot of battery. Um, and it's good to uh, have a full battery first before you start and uh, wreck of the area as well so yeah we'll have a gander um, I thought it'd be quite good to do a high plaps of some the sheep behind me um, what I don't want to do is scare them so I might just do it 
uh, nice and high. We'll see. I usually like to do a hyperlapse or time lapses of like landscapes and stuff like that, but it's just not gonna happen today. So proof of concept, uh, I'll probably go over the sheep and you can see them all scuttering around whilst also moving slowly. Might get some movement in the fog, but I very much doubt it today. So anyway, my drone's up in the air at the moment, so I'm just gonna have a quick recce and uh, I'll get back to you. So I've done my recce. Um, I'm basically gonna be shooting the sheep that are behind me, over there somewhere. You can even see, there we go, over there. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot shoot those sheep. Clearly not actually shoot, you know what I'm saying, film. Um, and I'm gonna screen record on my phone so that you can see what is going on. There we go. And then, let's go up a bit. You never know, we might get some movement in the sheep. I doubt it. What I don't want to do is um, scare them because I'm not into that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm at my height limit now. Let's go down a bit, shall we? 120 meters is the legal limit in the UK. Go above them like this. Oh, wrong one. Let's go down a bit. And all I'm going to do, oh, they're starting to move now. I don't really want to scare them. <coughs> so, all I'm going to do is, <coughs> excuse me, go up to here. I'm going to scroll down until it gets to hyperlapse. Oh. Now, free mode is you can just control the drone and do what you want. Um, circle mode is you're gonna go circle around uh, subject. Course lock, which is what I'm gonna choose, is you basically choose one straight line and it's not gonna deviate from that. Um, and then you've got, let's see if I'm still in frame, can't see, here we go. And you've got waypoint. I've never used waypoint, um, but you can, you can literally put waypoints on there. Um, as I said, points to note earlier about doing a recce, at the top left, you can see the time ticking down, top right, sorry, time ticking down, it says uh, 2126, 2124, that's how much battery life you've got left. Um, there's no wind today, so it's hardly doing anything. Um, I'll put it into cine mode, just so it saves a bit of battery. Um, and then basically, um, you, when you, when you pick, oh, I'll show you on here. When you pick at the bottom, hang on, let me, let me make sure that I've got it on the right bit. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, cool, I am on course lock. Um, at the bottom, you've got how fast, so on the left hand side you've got intervals, so um, intervals between the shots like you did with the R5, um, video time lapse, so intervals between the shots, um, the length of um, photo. Hang on a minute. Nope, the length of video that you want. My bad. So let's say I want a 10 second clip. Um, I'd us I usually uh, overshoot instead of thinking in the edit I want a five second clip what I'll do is I'll do a 10 second or a 20 second and then I can speed it up in post um, it's better to have too much than not enough so for, the, for this purpose I'll do a 10 second clip and then um, you can set basically how fast you want the drone to move so we'll go fairly slow today um, and what I'll do is I will move it in place first just a little bit <clears throat> and what we're going to do as you can see at the top there says duration eight minutes so eight minutes is how long uh, how long it's going to take the drone to complete that hyperlapse sequence um, so it's going to take eight minutes to get a 10 second clip um, it's pretty basic to be honest so it's all good with that. Um, and then basically you can have a look on your map 
And then when you do a course lock, let's go back. So let's say I'm happy with everything. You've locked it. It's in before you start the high, before you start the high plaps, you can actually see the end point with that red dot, which is class. I think it's mega. So I'm going to do it at the end of the field just to make sure. So if I put it here, look, let's go. So I still want a 10 second clip, but let's make the drone go a little bit faster. And then as you can see, it's now moved to the end of the field, which is what I want it to do. And then you can see the green line is the traje trajectory, can never say that bloody word, the course path that the drone is going to take. So without further ado, um, I'm just going to press. It's going to start it, really. And as you can see on there, it's going through. Um, and it's just basically going to take pictures all the way along for the next eight minutes. Hopefully we get some movement within the uh, within the sheep, just so I can demonstrate it. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let that play out. Make sure we've got enough battery life left, and then we're gonna see what the results look Shooting like. Shooting is nearing completion. So catch you back then. One thing that I do like um, whilst you're waiting is um, the the little light bulb at the bottom. So. You might not be doing anything um, if you're preoccupied with with the hyperlap. So it gives you just little tips and stuff like that and information at the bottom, um, just for you to to be aware of. I'm just reading it as I'm going along. Apologies, but yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool. Uh, and whilst we're waiting, um, I, I was kind of good to do it at the end, and then I was going to do it at the start, and I keep forgetting. So support your homies so this hoodie is from a friend of mine ted um i'll link his instagram below um he's a tattoo artist and a digital um a digital drawer artist as well what are you going to call it digital artist um downplaying it then he's 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 mega um worked with him a couple of times oh he is in this video wherever it is i'm gonna say it's this though Looking at the screen now, this side. Um, he is in the documentary that I did, the mini doc, not really documentary. Um, downplaying myself now, but uh, the little video that I did um, with uh, Traditions uh, tattoos. So yeah, hit him up on Instagram um, if you want to get one of these. Um, pretty much explains within that film that I did of him of what what support your homies means. So yeah. Um, there's no better thing that I could have done than to buy his merch. So happy with that. Um, let's get back to the hyperlapse. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention um, that I almost forgot was um, within the settings, um, you can do it so that it shoots um, just the raw clips, <coughs> excuse me, as in just the raw photos so that you can edit them yourself or you can do it so that it's a pre a pre-edited video clip that makes sense like you do on the r5 it's already a, already a video um, and you can set it to do both i don't think you can do that on the r5 i can't remember but on this you can do a video and the raw clips so that's cool i think that's that class um, that you can do both um, there's so much process and power within this drone going on at the same time it's just nuts so yeah thought i'd mention that So I hope you enjoyed that uh, Hyperlapse video. Um, I do think the drone is a great bit of kit. Um, just a shame that uh, I couldn't give you any decent examples of uh, a decent Hyperlapse today. Um, it is for reason right now. Um, I've gone through three batteries. Um, and But I'm still happy. I'm still happy I got out. I'm still happy I'm making content for you guys. Um, 
uh, just hope in the future that I can actually bring some extra value. Um, let me know if you got any value from this. Um, but as I said, drone's a great bit of kit. Um, obviously I haven't had a look through the videos yet, um, only, only on my phone. Um, so it's not a true representation. It's only like a, a low res uh, video clip, but there wasn't much movement um, in the first one, as you can see. But uh, it just gives you the principle of doing a, hyper a, a time lapse on the move, basically. Um, I did do a bonus one here. Um, and as you can see, there's a bit more movement. This was a five minute clip, sorry, a five second clip. And that's playing at the, the, the speed that it was actually filmed at. Um, whereas the, like I said before, the 10 second clip, I've sped that up to a five second clip, just so you can see a bit more, bit more motion. But uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you got some value from this. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Um, not sure what's gonna happen in the next video. Uh, Life is pretty crazy right now, but it's like the 11th of December or whatever it is that I'm filming this today. So um, nearly Christmas. So probably won't be doing any more filming between now and Christmas, but if I do, then I should catch you in that video. If I don't, hope everybody has a great Christmas. And um, I'm not sure why my arms are still out at the moment, but yeah, have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Peace out.